you guys, Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Uh, I brought in a special weapon, a mustache that we've all grown to love. Uh, and the mustache brought its human counterpart with it today. Please welcome Papa Stash. <laughs> uh, old friend of mine from high school, uh, junior high. He's been playing guitar forever. And you always had like the Maid Iron Maiden shirts and the Aussie shirts Van and Halen. Van Halen all the way. So yes. I brought him in to help teach this song. I just want to let you guys know real quick. I got a request list down below. I send out really cool lessons that are not on YouTube, free uh, ebook that's got chord diagrams, all that kind of stuff. Click down below, check it out. Otherwise, Brett Papa or Papa Sash is going to teach you this tune right now. So. All right, Brett. So what do we, let's let's start with that. Let's start with that intro. I know we both kind of looked at some different versions and we're kind of trying to see what they were doing. Uh, just go ahead and teach that the part that you were playing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what uh, the main lead guitar player plays. Uh, I know if you listen to the beginning album, the the you know original non-live album, it's bending, but just for the sake of uh, making it easy, I'll show you the uh, the new live version. So it's just single notes, not bending. It's So keep in mind there is a harmony guitar part that goes with that. So when you play it in a band setting, you know, you got to figure out the lower harmony of the part, but so what you're going to do is you're going to start on the B string 17th fret down to the uh, B string 15th fret and on uh, this note you'll apply some vibrato. This one's just straight so it's and then you're going to go up to the um, G string 17, 19 and then uh, same frets D string so all together we got oh I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, same, same pattern over and over. Uh, on the fourth time, instead of hitting, ending, or resolving on this note, you're going to grab this note down here. So it's going to go. Yeah, metal. Yeah, total <laughs> metal. And then that's when it breaks into the uh, verse rhythm part. And so when it comes to that, the most important thing is that rhythm pattern. Yes, so the just, gallop. Yeah, so say, uh, all right, so the first chord is just right here. It's a simple enough power chord, but what we really want to do is really work on our metal gallop or yeah. whatever you want. And, you know, just break down some, dude, you're teaching awesome. Just just keep going. This okay, is, you're, cool. And you can see here? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's helpful, huh? Yeah, totally. It's really <laughs> awesome. I'm mesmerized. <laughs> Okay, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to something you don't hear very often anymore. Um, it was used a lot in the 80s. It's a gallop rhythm pattern. It's really simple uh, five chords, which just means you're playing the root and the fifth. Uh, but it's all in the gallop part, which is you know, simulating kind of a gallop, right? So we got... So when you're uh, doing the gallop, you want to make sure to keep it tight if uh, you want to use palm muting, only because um, if not, it, it sounds too loose. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your palm, yeah, this part of your palm right on your strings. This is, a, you know, a, a telly, so, it, you know, you'll know where it comes out. But right, basically where the strings hit the uh, saddles, you're going to rest it on there. If not, it would sound like... Right, and, so and you're working like a, a down, down, yeah, up, down. It's yeah, the the down, down, down up, down, yeah. down, 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 up, down. The beginning uh, starts like that. It's so it's only down, down, up, down the first time, and then it's really just going back and forth. So it's. So 
the only two times you hit downstrokes in a row is just the beginning of the galloping pattern, and then it's more of just you know alternate picking. <laughs> That's just, uh, you're on the C chord, third fret, and then you're just going down with your first finger to the second fret, and then back and forth, so it's... Right. So the rhythm's a, a little bit faster. I, I on this particular song, uh, use my first and fourth finger, only because when it comes to that stretch, it's easier for me. You can do it however you want. People do it like this. I like to do it like that, too. Yeah, so, anyways, so up to speed, it's more... that amount of times before it does the pre-chorus, which is an A chord to C to F and then to D and then it goes into the chorus. So again, it's A. I just let these chords ring. C F to D. And again, all you're worried about is those five chords, just root and fifth notes. So you know you don't have to hit major or minor chords. And then that brings you into the chorus, which is very simple as well. So the chorus, we have uh, same kind of thing. We're going to let it ring out. So the opening chord is a G. And then you go to an F. And this is the only tricky rhythm part. It has accents in, in this part. So I'm just going to play it all the way through so you can hear what it sounds like. So um, what we're going to do again is it just a normal G chord to an F, and then you're going to go, so that's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, into a C. One other part to the song, very easy. Um, I'll just teach you a really easy way to do it. It's the, uh, I think it's the the part right after the solo. It's just a walk up, so you can keep this uh, A shape, and it's just gonna go. You're just gonna walk it up. It's gonna go uh, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. So it's. In between each of those chord changes, I do it down up, right? So it's. Same thing we were talking about before with the palm muting. You know, same thing applies. Also, in between chord shifts, I release the pressure uh, so you don't get, you know, string noise from transition to uh, chord to chord. So. back into the course. Yeah. So uh, we're going to play it all together. We're going to put all the parts we just learned together uh, up to speed and uh, here's how it sounds. <laughs>
starts over. And All right, you guys. I uh, hope you dug the lesson. Papa Stash here is kicked butt for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you can sign my request list below or see you in another lesson soon. See you later.